I'm Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. Now, this literally just arrived, okay? So I had to get on straight away and film this unboxing uh, by Noble Collection. I think a lot of you've already guessed what it is. Very, very, very exciting. The postman or the, the, the delivery driver has just dropped it off and when he handed me this box, I looked at it thinking, oh my God, are you serious? If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? Let's get started. <gasps> and then I remembered, obviously, that this person is a half giant. The box is huge. <laughs> this is crazy. I think it's 35, is it 35 inches? I haven't opened it. I've got my scissors, it's got fragile written there. And so here we go. Now it says this is fragile, but I've noticed there is absolutely no padding around the wand box. Okay, I'm gonna have to be really careful opening this because the wand box is literally there. I hope there's no damage, I really do. I was told by Noble Collection they've actually stopped using Royal Mail. So. Can you imagine this wand at Ollivander's? Oh my God. Right, okay, here we go. I don't know when this was advertised. Oh, hang on, there's something around it. Hang on. I'm putting this awfully huge wand box between me legs, but there's some piece of cardboard in the middle here. I'm trying to be really careful, and it's the packaging. Okay, let's have a look. That's pretty cool. Oh, it is damaged. Noble Collection, sort this out, please. Don't send these without any padding. Luckily, that's the only corner. Right, so. This is the packaging for it. Okay, so cool. I am disappointed about that, that damage, misters. Sort it out. Right, okay, let's have a look. Okay, I'm a bit nervous. I am nervous, I am so nervous. Okay. Uh, how are we gonna do this now? This thing is massive. Oh my God, it is huge. It just kind of puts into proportion the size of Hagrid. I mean, he was only a half giant after all of him. Was His mother was a giant, wasn't she? And his father was so small, he could pick him up and put him on the dresser. Oh my God. It comes with a little Noble Collection catalog inside there. The box itself is very well packaged, but I'm disappointed, um, sorry, the, the wand itself is very well packaged, but I'm very disappointed with the box. As in the fact that there's no padding over it whatsoever. That is disappointing. Oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, good Lord. I am actually really nervous to open this. Now try and get like um, an idea of the size. That's just below my hip and that's my head. So that is massive. Look at the size of that, right? Let's open it. I'll show you closer up. All right, so there's a little button there and it's it's quite nice because it's, it's not like anything that's gonna break easily. So that's quite firm worries me after the bag I reviewed last week that it would be breakable. The actual umbrella itself is amazing and it's not to be used. This is not waterproof, okay? It might be, you know, for the sun, but not to... Uh, they say don't put umbrellas up inside, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> okay. Do this. <laughs> it's not like the umbrella I did before. <gasps> okay, sorry. It's just the creaking and everything. Oh my god. Look at that. I gotta be honest, that is blooming impressive. Absolutely amazing. I love, I love the <laughs> I love it. And of course. 
the first time we see this in the films is when Hagrid meets Harry for the first time at that shack on the sea and he turns Dudley, he's meant to turn Dudley into a pig um, but he was, according to the books, he was very pig-like so he, or, he, the, or Hagrid thinks that Dudley was too pig-like and only gave him a tail because that's the only thing that he was missing. So yeah, now apparently, I'm a bit kind of shocked about this because uh, in Harry Potter, in the books, um, they explain that, I, don't, I can't remember who explains it, but they explain that the Ministry snaps Hagrid's wand and, Hagrid, and Dumbledore disguises Hagrid's wand, or at least the end of his wand, as the umbrella, as the piece of umbrella. So he always has his wand, but it's just not complete. So yeah it's not meant to be the whole wand but I've got to be honest or I could be wrong so tell me if I'm wrong um but I've got to be honest that is immense I've been I think a lot of people have it they have been waiting for this for a long time <sighs> now comes to the value of this now this is 55 pound I personally think that is worth it because you've got things like the Hermione bag that they've just released a couple of months ago that's the same price and I've got to be honest the quality of this is better than the bag itself. This wand is fantastic. The end of the wand is gorgeous. It's metal obviously and wood so there would be a metal rod in here probably keeping it safe. I love the design, the simple design of the end of his wand as well. So I've got to be honest this is a nice piece of work and I think Noble, well done for getting that right. The box, bloody love the box. This is obviously meant to be an Ollivander's box, but I am disappointed that they sent it without any padding and my box is damaged. Now you might not be able to see that, but that is damaged there. So that's the only thing, because I, as a collector, I would prefer to have the item in pristine condition. Now the wand itself, yeah, that's amazing. I do love the fact they've got the um, Ollivander's detail at the front there. And of course they've got the all important, the Harry Potter proof there that this is an official item. Never ever ever buy anything that's listed as an official item unless you have some sort of proof. A lot of items will have just WB stamped on them. Maybe not even the year they'll, they would have been made, but they would have had it on. This will have it on somewhere. I think it's actually in the label inside. It's just an excuse to open it again, it is. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't feel so bad now opening this. Right, this inside here has got the all important Harry Potter sticker there, which shows that it is an official Harry Potter item. The bag had the same thing. But yes, this is absolutely gorgeous. Now, again, somebody asked me the other day, what do I do about buying items like this that said that it's official? Always look for the proof that it is an official item and it'll always be stamped with Warner Brothers uh, logo or their little uh, WB or whatever will be on it. The Wizarding World will be on all the new stuff. Um, also, as, as another thing that I worry about is people who buy things from eBay and these items are apparently props from the film. If you knew the security that was in place to stop items being removed off set, you would not be buying anything on eBay. Unless you have seen that item get walked off set yourself, okay, I wouldn't touch anything with a barge pole. As a collector, a serious collector, no way. There is an item in my collection that I don't think is an official item, but I bought it, well, sorry, not an official item, it was a real item from the film um, that I bought a long, long time ago before I became a serious collector. But I do have things like crystals from the chandeliers in Gringotts, which I know are real um, because I was sent them by the actual company that put them in place. They sent me all the photographs to prove that they were real as well. Uh, but that was a gift. That wasn't anything for sale. That was purely a gift for me, which was a huge thing to have. So this is Hagrid's umbrella, his umbrella wand. I've got to be honest, I love it. I think it's a bit big to display in general. I will find somewhere to put it. It's almost as big as one of the brooms. It's almost as long as Malfoy's cane. It's mental. I do like this little button here with the big metal, the piece of metal that holds it in place because that means that that's going to last for a while. The wand itself is amazing. The umbrella wand is amazing. I've got to be honest, I am so chuffed with this. Um, 
they are not toys remember please look after your wands because even though this looks pretty sturdy I at the amount of times that you may be up and down with these with this umbrella you don't know how easy it is going to be to break look at the Ravenclaw diadems the first lot came out the stone fell out of them so easily mine is one of the first lots so unfortunately it has fallen out but I stuck it back in place um, but with these ones they'll probably make a new batch if anything happens with these with corrective with the problems corrected but this one is amazing and my son's looking at me through the window will you go away go to college before I use this on you he's late for college his alarm goes off and he doesn't blimmin listen to it so I and I told him he's 18 now he's not having me wake him up all the time so yes highly recommend you get this love the box love the uh, the wand please 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 noble collection will you pad your boxes before you send them out um, other than that absolutely just outstanding and I love the fact that they finally released them if you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you then why not subscribe to my channel if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And just so you don't miss any more of my videos, make sure you hit the notification button as well. Until next time, take care. I love you all. I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, invite your friends, and also like this video and let me know down below in the comment section, what did you think of this video? What would you like me to cover? Until then, thank you so much. Take care. I love you all and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.